everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about how I follow a minimalist lifestyle in college and I'm going to be providing some tips that I use to help me keep my academic life a bit more simple and efficient. So please join me with some tea, coffee, water, whatever you like and let's chat. So the first thing that I want to talk about is being mindful of your spending in college and kind of how I budget and how I've learned to budget throughout college. It's obvious that college is extremely expensive, so it only makes sense that all the accessories and things having to do with college are expensive too. For example, textbooks are a lot, a lot of money depending on the courses you're taking and the type of book you need, and they can be around like $200 to $300 depending, again, on the book you need. So it's really important that you can kind of limit those costs and save money on buying a book that you'll use for half a semester, maybe even a year. One way that I keep my textbook costs low is I actually go to my school library and there they have so many textbooks and things you can check out. And the way my school works is if they do have a textbook, you can rent it for two hours and there within that time frame, you can take notes, take pictures of the pages you need, even get your homework done. This saves you, what, $200 just so you can go to your library and have it easily accessible. And you also don't have to worry about walking around with this textbook, losing it, having a heavy backpack. So that's really, really nice. And if your school has that option, I would definitely take advantage of it. The second topic that I wanted to talk about that involves budgeting is when I was a freshman in college, I wish I knew how to spend my money wisely because especially when I first started out and got my first dorm room and everything, I know I got so caught up in having that Pinteresty dorm, the nice aesthetic with the tapestry and fairy lights, all that stuff, girls and guys, you know what I'm talking about. But I got so caught up in that and I ended up putting so much money into just the looks of my room that I didn't really have a le left over for the essentials I needed. Like a printer was something that I realized was so important that I had to have and I didn't end up getting one until like my sophomore year and at that point I was just <laughs> using so much money in the library for printing and things like that. So definitely be mindful of where you're spending because I know personally, oh the lighting just changed in the room. <laughs> I know personally I wish I was more mindful about things that were really important to my room and things that just weren't really necessary. Also after two years I ended up moving back home and all that stuff that I bought, those tapestries, everything, honestly I ended up donating half of them and selling the other half because it was just so many things that I obviously couldn't put in this room. And again, it wasn't really essential to my life. It wasn't really necessary. So why put money into it if you can use that money and save it up for more important things like a printer. The next thing I wanna talk about in relation to budgeting is having a capsule wardrobe. If you're like me and you commute to school, you know that beating that morning rush hour is so crucial for you making that class or being late. I like to have as much time as I need while also getting my adequate sleep. And I found that having my own capsule wardrobe with a couple items that I just use every single day or can be used in multitude of outfits was super, super easy. And it honestly helped limit my time for getting ready by like at least 15 minutes. Before having a capsule wardrobe, I would spend a ridiculous amount of time planning outfits. I would change so many times to wear like the first outfit I tried on. Now that I have a capsule closet with items that can be used in various outfits, it has made my getting ready time a lot lower and I also have a lot more time to sleep. Meanwhile, I also save money because I'm not purchasing new clothes. So it's a big win-win situation. So that's one tip that I really, really stress if you're looking for any minimalist tips in college. The next thing that I think is really, really important that I use to help benefit my academic lifestyle is having a planner because time management is so key in college. Whether you're doing sports, clubs, going to work, and being a full-time student, whatever your situation may be, being able to time manage is such a crucial skill that you will take with you from college all the way throughout your life. It is so important. One thing that I use to help me with my time management is a planner. I know my planner is broken down by hour because I am that busy and I am so forgetful. So having that hour breakdown has been so helpful for me. It has really helped me time manage and also stay organized on when I have assignments due, when I have exams, quizzes, when I have work all those things because like I said, I'm super forgetful and I need to have that visual breakdown of everything. I also find that having everything written down in a planner helps me be more motivated to get my work done because I wanna check things off, I wanna cross it out, I wanna have that physical like satisfaction of knowing that I'm doing things and getting it done and I'm not procrastinating, which 
let's be real, every college student procrastinates. It also helps you, again, be really good with having efficient use of your time and knowing where you need to place time for certain activities. If one of your clubs is going to be a two-hour meeting that week and you know that you have a paper due that's going to take you about three hours, seeing that breakdown also helps you plan better so that you can make sure to get all your things done in a great amount of time so that you can just move on with your day and look forward to the next task. The next and last thing that I want to talk about, which isn't really talked about a lot, but I know it honestly impacts me, is having the accumulation of papers in college. Whether it's a bunch of syllabus during syllabus week, a breakdown of today's lesson in class, the lecture notes, stuff like that. I'll be honest, I take the handout, throw it in my bag, and never look at it again. The one way that I battle getting all this excess paperwork is by converting everything to digital work and organizing it digitally. That way, in my laptop, I have a breakdown of all my classes, and if I ever need to look at that syllabus, I can go right in that folder and know where to find it. You can take pictures of the textbook, you can take pictures of the board as your professor is writing out the notes and course material, all that stuff. And again, we keep our phones and all those things in our pockets, so why not have it where it's easily accessible and you can just pull it out if you ever need to reference it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found these tips useful for your life, whether you're going into college, already are a college student, or are just really bored and want to see how I fulfill a minimalist lifestyle in college. I appreciate you viewing and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!